Good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful, windy day in Genova, and Robin and I are going to be exploring the city today. Okay, so the first stop on our little tour today is the Piazza de Ferrari, which is right behind me, and it looks like there's a huge, beautiful fountain that we're gonna go check out. So we've been walking around this area for a while and it kind of seems like a more modern part of the city. So I think the next place that we're going to head to is the old city and then down to the port. Alright, so Robin and I found a little lunch spot. We are at Mr. Taco and we both ordered some burritos that are gonna be so delicious. This is massive. Okay, I got a chicken burrito. <laughs> you guys lit up. <laughs> I've got a that lot. Is loaded. It's spicy. I didn't get any chicken in that bite, but there's beans and rice and lettuce and jalapeno sauce, which is very prominent. All right, and I got the vegan burrito. I'm gonna try to get my mouth open. <laughs> yep, this is super good. Lots of rice, beans. I'm getting, there's a lot more in here. <laughs> All right, so we just left the taco restaurant which we got to around 2.15 <laughs> and it is almost 4 because the owner, lovely man, yeah. was just talking about the year <laughs> Which was so helpful. It He's was. like, do you have any plans? And we were like, not really. We're gonna, we're just gonna walk around. We don't really know what to see. He's like, wasted time, let me tell you. And we got a very in detail description of everything we need to do. So the rest of our day is planned. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I forget he pinned it all on our Google Maps. So we'll just follow that. We are going to Piazza del Vigni. <laughs> I think. I don't know. But that's where we're going. Okay, so I guess we're pretty poor at following directions because <laughs> we couldn't find the cathedral that he pointed us to. And we also passed, without knowing, a plaza that is supposed to have an, a bomb in it that hasn't gone off and it was put there in World War II. So they just like built around it. There are so many little, little streets. streets everywhere. Yeah. He, you can get very lost here. When he was <laughs> describing it, he was like, the downtown, like you can't just wander because you'll miss so many things just because there's so many little side streets. Um, yes, <laughs> we we missed a lot already <laughs> and we are trying to follow directions. <laughs> so I think we're just gonna go to the next thing that he suggests. Okay, so we're at the location that he typed into our Google Maps, Piazza de Greci or Piazza de Vigni. Um, they both show like they're side by side. It's a little church nestled in a whole bunch of buildings. The streets to get here are super, super narrow, so not a lot of tourists come here, which is why he told us to go here. And it is very beautiful. And we're definitely the only tourists in this area because yes. we are getting a lot of funny looks. <laughs> when we say they're narrow streets, it's a very narrow street. <laughs> Pick a direction. Anyway. Let's <laughs> go this way. Yeah, I think left. There we go. It's like some bigger streets. Okay, so we made our way to the old port area and we're walking along this pier, which was recommended to us by our Airbnb host. So it's all got a lot going on. 
So it's really exciting to see. And behind me is a biosphere. So they've created like a floating glass dome that mimics a tropical ecosystem. So you can pay to get in. We're not gonna do that. But they've got like a whole bunch of tropical plants and birds and fish and tortoises and stuff. So it's really cool. And I did not expect to see this year. So Robin and I are at the end of the pier. We're on a little floating dock right now. Just admiring the harbor because it is absolutely stunning. Even just looking at some of the crazy nice boats here and admiring the city. Wow, it's a stunning view. We are going to take a cable car up somewhere. We don't know where it's going, but they're free. so. We're going to go check it out and see if the view's good from the top. Okay, so right before we left, the train left, there was a big tour group that got on. So we were like, oh, we'll just get off when the tour group gets off because then we'll know we're in a touristy area and they got off at the very first stop. So we already hopped off and we don't know where we are. So we're just gonna, you know, walk up and and see. That definitely wasn't the picturesque, like train ride that I was thinking of. We stayed in a tunnel the whole time. <laughs> but yeah, we'll show you what area we ended up in. This is where we got off. And this is actually exactly where we wanted to be. So good thing we followed the tour group. The sunset isn't for about another hour, hour and a half. So we have some time to kill. So we're actually gonna walk back down, <laughs> go to a cafe really quick, and then we'll definitely have time to catch the little cable car going back up in time for the sunset later. We've come into Gramsci Cafe. Uh, just kill a little bit of time, use their free Wi-Fi, and actually figure out what balcony we're trying to get to to watch the sunset. So I got some steamed milk, which is called Latte Bianco. Didn't know that, didn't know what I was ordering, but that's what it is. And then I got some kind of dessert. It kind of looks like a wagon wheel. Looks good though. Whoa. I was expecting a wagon wheel, but there's some kind of like jelly in the middle and it kind of tastes like apricot, I think. Whoa. And then it's got like a crumbly chocolate around it and then it's coated in like a harder chocolate shell. Wow, it looks really good. It is. And how much did you pay for those two things, Robin? Mm, I'm glad you asked. This is the cheapest it's been for a while. This was one euro and this was one euro. Okay, so we just left the cafe, and now we're on the hunt to find the balcony that's supposed to give us one of the best views of the sunset in Genova. Oh, the <laughs> person at the taco place said that there was an elevator to get up there, but we don't know where it is, so we're using our feet and we're just making the climb. <laughs> where are we? <laughs> We have no clue. <laughs> okay. I believe that is the elevator that they were talking about. So we're gonna take that down. So another bonus about coming in the off season is that the elevator is also free. Okay, so we're just on our way back to our place, but tomorrow we're actually leaving Genova to do a day trip. So because of that, we need to pack a lunch 
And on a day that we didn't film, me and Narissa came here for lunch and it was so good. It made us miss all of the Greek food that we used to get. So I'm actually going to pick up another gyro to get for lunch tomorrow. Okay, so we just got back to our Airbnb and I think we're just gonna cook some supper now. And so this is where we're gonna leave you guys. We hope you enjoyed the vlog of us exploring Genova and we have a very exciting day trip planned tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Is it good? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we just got <laughs> your voice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so windy. Update. It's so windy. <laughs>